All right, here's the ground mount, um, which is uh, going to take 12 modules. So I just wanted to show you um, these these channels, these poles, before we actually put the modules on them. Um, and this is the concrete's done, work's done, conduit has been run into the into the home, and then there'll be like a uh, figure four. Um, mounting bracket that will come towards the ground and that will uh, support the 12 uh, modules so all right show you the uh, finished product here next okay here's the uh, ground mount system with the solar array um, attached this is a Schletter system and obviously the array tilt can be adjusted and there's 12 uh, Ceneva panels on this. I'll just show you what they are. These are 260 watt Cenevas. You get them out of Georgia. And um, these are black, black frames. Kind of a cool looking array. Don't usually do black panels, but uh, black modules. But uh, that's it. It's just a small system, but it's a small house. And with the propane and the wood stove and the solar water, we've pretty much got it set up so hopefully this uh, location they'll make a little bit of money um, at least have a zero power bill well that'd be cool wouldn't it and um, that's it so we'll uh, do a follow-up we're missing um, we're not done we're missing a combiner box didn't come in where all these panels these modules are combined and then we'll be feeding the, the inverter so I'll just do a quick follow-up once this is uh, buttoned up, but we're missing a part. It never came in today, so do a quick follow-up. But anyway, I just wanted to show you another option. This customer did not want his panels on his roof, and that's what this is about. Um, makes it a little easier to wash the panels off, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So a Schletter ground mount system. And if you wanted to do a bigger array, say say 18 panels or 24, you would just put a couple more posts in line. And it depends on the lay of the land. You can only go so far where you have to do a separate ground mount. So if we wanted to expand the system, we could do a, we could duplicate this and feed that in. And uh, but we're good. We've done a lot of other things prepping wise that allowed us to do a fairly small array to handle all the critical needs here. I'll be back with a final. Ah, this is a perfect spot for a battery backup system in a basement. And not only that, but we're running a dehumidifier off of the system. So it's a great place to store food. And that's what we're storing down here. And um, great, uh, just a great setup all around. Um, the uh, This is a ground mount system, which I'll show you, the Schletter ground mount system and that PV is brought in here uh, from outside right here so solar is brought in into the distribution panel I'm not going to take all this apart to show you but uh, the PV comes in here comes to a charge controller that uh, monitors the batteries which are in here there's 12 uh, batteries 12 AGMs that are in series it's a 48 volt system and about a 800 amp hour battery bank and uh, so the system has been inspected uh, we're waiting on a meter change so we can actually sell any excess power back to the grid and at least have that option and that is set in here hard to see but uh, should turn the lights should turn the lights on but um, anyway you can set it through the uh, control monitor here control panel that you'll be able to sell the sell the power back so nice set nice system nice setup and we also put you can see the little geyser in here. Um, we retrofitted the geyser to an electric water heater. And this is a geyser RO, and what we ended up doing is uh, keeping the ability, if they wanted, uh, while the grid is up, to use the electric water heater 220, because it does recover faster than the geyser, but in a grid down scenario, no fuel required to give you a nice hot shower. You just might have to stagger your showers. You know, it's 4,500 watts competing with 700 watts but uh, that 700 watts is being produced from the solar so that's what's nice okay and uh, so 